Over the past three decades, lithium ion batteries have revolutionized the electric vehicle and energy industry due to their light weight, longer charges, and ability to perform better under extreme conditions compared to nickel cadmium batteries that we used to use in the past. But a key component of lithium ion batteries that we don't often talk about is actually graphite. And this is the primary material used for one of two electrodes known as the anode. When a battery is charged, lithium ions flow from the cathode to the anode through an electrolyte buffer separating these two electrodes. The process is then reversed as the battery discharges energy. Why is graphite actually used in lithium batteries? As industries around the world work to create more powerful lithium ion batteries to power everything from electric vehicles to grid scale energy storage, graphite plays an increasingly important role. A natural graphite typically contains flakes, which need to be converted to a spherical form before they can be used as an anode material. It's sort of like a refining process. Alternatively, synthetic graphite can be produced in a controlled process to ensure consistent quality. But the problem with doing that is that production of high quality synthetic graphite requires temperatures of around 3000 degrees centigrade. In a first for Australia, International Graphite says it has successfully produced specialized graphite material at a newly commissioned pilot plant in Western Australia. This is a first step to becoming a vertically integrated producer of the key ingredient used in lithium battery manufacturing. And it's a step in Australia's path towards manufacturing one day batteries of its own. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm the Electric Viking. Great to see you. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Welcome back to everyone else. Thank you for tuning in. It's been an amazing year here in Australia for renewable energy, for batteries, for all kinds of battery technology. There's plans to make a gigafactory which will produce a very different type of battery, redox flow batteries. And part of the reason for that is that the University of New South Wales has a patent for that battery type. That's going to be one of Australia's biggest manufacturing sites. Of course, graphite isn't used in that type of battery, but it is used in many electric vehicle batteries that are in production today. And Australia currently just, what do we do? We just ship raw materials anywhere around the world to whoever wants them, just dump them off. Now, that means we miss out on a key part of the production cycle, which is refining those materials. This new plant to produce graphite in its most refined form helps to keep those jobs and the production of this material in Australia. Plus, it helps to reduce CO2 emissions because you're not sending hordes of material that is well, largely useless overseas. More than 30 local suppliers participated in setting up this plant in the southwestern town of Collie the traditional home of coal in the state of Western Australia, which houses pilot scale graphite micronizing and spheridizing equipment and backed by a 2 million grant from the state government, says Renew Economy. The Perth-based company said it's purchasing larger scale equipment to enable it to produce or to mass produce material for qualification with potential international battery customers. Graphite is yet to be produced in Australia on a commercial scale. Though the country sits on 5 million tons of reserves and 7.97 million tons of economic demonstrated resources, according to 2021 government data. That means there is more graphite here in Australia that is yet to be mined than almost any other country in the world. Micronized graphite is used as a conductive additive to battery cathodes and other industrial applications, as well as being an essential step in the production of, of purified graphite for battery anodes. By the end of 2023, we expect to be completing construction and commissioning of a commercial scale graphite processing plant here in Collie in Australia, the company's executive chairman, Phil Hurst, said in a statement. By 2025, we expect to have developed a fully integrated 
battery anode project with feedstock coming from our planned graphite mine at Springdale near Hopetown on Western Australia's south coast, he said. Graphite has emerged as a critical mineral essential for producing the anodes in lithium ion batteries over the past decade. And it generally takes up to 10 times more graphite than lithium to make a battery. Not many people are aware of that. Up to 10 times more graphite than lithium. You can see just how important this material actually is. Benchmark Mineral Intelligence forecasts a global supply shortage over the next decade as manufacturers search for enough material to keep up with the demand for batteries in electric vehicles, renewable energy storage, and other green technologies. So this is actually a potential smart play here. If you're looking to invest, you could potentially invest in not only lithium miners, but also consider graphite miners. I believe people don't realize right now just how important graphite is and how much scarcity will come over the next decade as battery manufacturing ramps up enormously and as the entire automotive industry moves away from gas to electric cars. Graphite passes through numerous stages of refinement to become a battery anode material before being shaped, purified, and coated to make it suitable for battery anode use. So the point is, refine it here, get rid of all the waste here, and then you can either make batteries or you can ship it wherever you want around the world to make batteries there. China was the world's top producer of graphite in 2021, followed by Brazil and Mozambique, respectively. I personally am excited to see more production of these key resources here in Australia. Sending bulk quantities of unpurified products all around the world means we miss out on a crucial part of the value adding stage. And we also just needlessly increase CO2 emissions. This actually serves to massively improve the entire supply chain. And by producing, mining and refining more graphite here in Australia, more batteries can be made worldwide. Thanks for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Bye-bye.